We, we know that the Tongans are very strong people, are very proud people, and we are very humbled to be here today amongst uh, your community. Thank you so much uh, for accepting um, our precious training doctors uh, to be part of your families and your communities this weekend. So this weekend, the students see for themselves the context for our communities, and they move from being clinical in their approach to have humanity in their engagement. Um, they're not guests uh, or tourists, uh, so, so to speak, but they're actually members of the family. And so they see and they're, they're immersed in that context. And then they see um, what, are the, what are the components in there, or what are the aspects that they as a doctor um, will be able to see, have that insight, so that in the future when you're actually the doctor and you're, and you're having patients come, you can have an insight knowledge of uh, the challenges, of areas where you can improve a difference, and, and also of the strengths within communities that you can utilise. I think the Tongan community really values her input uh, as the connectivity of our community to the university. Whamuina has a steely determination and a persistence which enabled her to really push this development through and it has turned out to be a, a wonderful program. So I've been very lucky to have Tai as a teacher because she's been inspiring in many ways. The reason she's inspiring is because she uh, believes in us. She's an exceptional leader. She has a determination, a strategic outlook and a commitment which have really borne results during the time that I've had the pleasure of working with her. I have a very clear vision of how I would like um, our students to engage with our communities, our students to serve our communities and teaching is a way in which I can pass on to them um, and inspire them in the hope that I have uh, for our communities and also in a way in which they can engage effectively uh, translating their skills, uh, their technical skills, skills to improve the health of our Pacific communities. Her strategic vision and her persistence and her passion for her people and Pacific Island teaching uh, pushed this into, uh, into being. There is a saying, the pathway to leadership is through service. And therefore I see these young doctors in training as people that would need to go out there to serve. Um, and, and it's their leadership in the community that comes through service. So my hope in the programs that we have developed, that these young minds, that these young talented um, young students, uh, doctors and leaders of the future uh, might learn what it means uh, to engage with the community in a, in a way that is meaningful.